So, welcome back to the Iron Man Manga News for the week ending March 9th, 2012. Well, a little thing this week, starting off with the uh, first Berserk Films Blu-ray and DVD release date, or date, have been announced for May 23rd. So, over in Japan, at least, to be able to get the first Blu-ray or DVD, which for us, in the rest of the world, usually means that the torrents will drop in a few days after that, so that'll be, uh, that's something to look forward to, I guess. Um, moving to more legal news, Crunchy Wallace announced that they're going to donate um, uh, their proceeds from views of Bleach and Naruto to a charity for the, uh, the, the quake last year. So, um, all views of Bleach and Naruto from March 9th to March 11th, that's on the day, actually, um, will go to a charity to help children who were affected by the devastation last year. So, good to you, Crunchyroll. Thank you for doing good for that. Um, so any of you that are not going to in or Bleach will go towards that. So, if you ever want to watch Naruto or Bleach, now would be a good time. Uh, meanwhile, in the Studio Ghibli news, uh, according to AV Watch, the North American Blu-ray release of The Secret World of Arieti will include both the American English dub and the British English dub. Both were made, and they're both going to be thrown on the same Disney release. So that's kind of neat, because they both obviously have different approaches to the material. So, cool. Glad to hear that. Um, also, actually, in uh, 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 Studio Ghibli news, uh, I mentioned last week that uh, Ariadne had made one point, um, I'm sorry, uh, $14 million. It's now up to $16.7 million total in box office sales. Um, so it remains the fifth highest grossing theatrical anime release in the United States ever, and the top grossing uh, Ghibli theatrical release ever. So, awesome. Did you hear that? Um, moving back to some classic anime, Lupin III has been around for literally decades in anime and manga form, and um, it was announced a, a new Lupin TV series will start airing in April. It will be the first Lupin TV series in 27 years, but it will star... Fujiko, the female character. Um, moreover, it w- the show will be directed by Sayo Yamamoto, who directed Michikoto Hachin, and is a girl! Uh, so the second, second episode series will be a, uh, the first female director on Lupin's third TV series. And the series competition, the head writer, is Mari Okada, the writer of Anohana. So a, a, a strong female uh, uh, crew on a uh, new loop on the third series starting a uh, female main character. I'm looking forward to that. I'm curious to see what they do with a strong, sexy female character for, uh, uh, for that. Uh, see here, moving over to some, you know, we'll, we'll go to kind of, uh, kind of a video game slash anime, uh, news. Production ID has announced they're collaborating with BioWare and Foundation to create a prequel to Mass Effect 3 called Mass Effect Paragon Lost. Uh, the Mass Effect movie was announced uh, uh, back last April, and so now we know that Production IG will actually be working on that. So, hard to go much better than Production IG on, on a product like that. So, that, that's good to hear. In kind of odd news, a teacher in Osaka, uh, a high school teacher, has been using the One Piece anime series to explain civil rights. Because, of course, Chopper isn't human, so... You can use that to talk about people who have been ostracized by their external appearances. Yeah. I'm not even going to say anything about that. Um, in fact, that, that's notable enough, it will probably be, be picked up by a new uh, venture by Dentsu, an advertising company that is starting a think tank that is dedicated to researching you know, otaku. Basically, they want to study what makes a mega hit in uh, the whole otaku world. What do otaku like? And what's interesting for us outside Japan is they've, they've said that they're, uh, if they can, uh, quote, outline and categorize otaku tastes, then they can develop and anticipate made in Japan hits, both at home and throughout the world. So they're looking at, at international uh, popularity as well as domestic popularity. So good to know that we will at least be part of the calculus in that. We'll see. Uh, let's see here, uh, do a little bit of music news. Uh, Aya Hirano, the voice actress who's worked in all sorts of stuff, um, 
how he uses Mia, Lucky Star, etc. and so forth, and of course Queen Blade, um, has announced he's coming back to singing, and uh, there's a clip on AnimeNewsNetwork.com with a, a one minute clip of her uh, next song, so if you're interested in hearing what that will sound like, go over and, and, and check that out. So we'll be on more on March 16th, um, and a CD will be forthcoming to Universal Music. So, I and Hirano are coming back to the musical world. Good for her. Um, now, for those of you who want to be mangaka and want to make your own manga, do know this. You may someday grow up to have a minor planet named after you. Jiro Taniguchi, who did A Distant Neighborhood, amongst other manga, uh, very popular uh, mangaka, also did The Walking Man, The Ice Wanderer, other things, um, is apparently popular enough over there in Japan that uh, astronomers who, who discovered a minor planet, an asteroid uh, discovered actually uh, a decade ago, have uh, they've announced that they are going to be naming it Jiro Taniguchi. So, good on you. That's pretty impressive for a, a mangaka to get an actual planet named after. Well, it's basically an asteroid, but still. Um, let's see here. Uh, speaking of, of older stuff, uh, Macross is a franchise that's been around for about 30 years, and they're, they're both behind it, planning a 30, 30th anniversary project. And they've announced that uh, part of that will be a big exhibition event, which will include... And this is kind of funny. Uh, they've announced that, um, let's see here, they will have, there was that quote, um, uh, concert scenes of uh, Cheryl Nome, Ronka Lee, and a quote, legendary songstress. Three guesses who that's going to be. Um, but they've also announced that appearing on stage will be a life size Valkyrie. That's why one of the transforming fighter ships. From Macross, they will recreate on stage life size in the Gurwalk mode or the sort of half transformed mode. Wow! So the F 25F uh, Messiah Valkyrie from the Macross Frontier uh, timeline will be showing up there on the stage. So that's something, something to look forward to. Uh, I'm wondering if the life size Gundam has, has now sort of up the ante in terms of what folks expect from these folks. That, that's pretty cool. Um, also in Mecha News, um, uh, it's part of an exhibit um, uh, uh, of, of, uh, sorry, of the works of Kunio Okawara, who designed the stuff from Mobile Suit Gundam and Armature with Lotom. Um, there was this mecha battle tournament held uh, in uh, Inagi City in Tokyo, where basically uh, Okawara actually uh, judged this event where they got uh, folks to design robots into a robot battle competition, but they all were, me were made to look like uh, mecha from anime series. So, uh, various Gundam mecha faced off as well as those from Yatter Man, Votoms, and SCP Leisner. Uh, these had three minutes, uh, three minute battles to knock out, uh, the opposing mecha down three times. Um, that was pretty awesome, is that they, they actually, um, uh, did that. And so, if you were watching this stream live, you could tune in afterwards to watch actual footage of that. If you're watching this recorded, sorry. Finally, um, uh, more good news about charity. Uh, uh, an anime fan group called Anime Fans Give Back will host a 24 hour podcasting marathon live on Ustream and its website on March 10th, starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And they're going to have a huge raft of American voice actors and actresses. Um, for Griff, Stephen Young, R. Bruce Elliott, Elliot, Todd Haberkorn, Kristen Freeman, uh, Mel Flanagan, Michelle Ross, Christine Marie Cabanos, Christina V, Sarah Williams, Ryan Massey, Ian Sinclair, Eric Vale, Patrick Seitz, Mike McFarlane, Melissa Fawn, Bill Billingsley, Stephen Bloom, Wendy Lee, Michael Salusud, and Jessica Strauss. So basically, everyone says Vic Mignana. I don't know why he's not there. Um, are going to be there. And they're going to give out an autographed copy of How We Give Up the Movie um, uh, at some point between 1 and 3 p.m. on Sunday. And I'm assuming that's Eastern Time. So, wow, that's pretty, pretty darn amazing. So, that's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week on the Friday Anime Buffet and Anime News. And I forgot to mention that AnimeNewsNetwork.com has been running a, a series of articles about the anime industry, which are, are fascinating and excellent. Uh, they got enough numbers to give you the actual reality without getting bogged down in specific examples. Um, and there's, so there's stuff in there about um, where the money comes from, in terms of how anime gets funded and from where. 
and then how it's spent, how anime is licensed, as well as information on the current generation of streaming technologies and things like that. So very useful. Head over to AnimeNewsNetwork.com to read those articles. You're all interested in how anime works as a business and how these things actually are made. That will tell you all sorts of stuff. See you next time.